Answer the call. Currently in my life, I am fulfilling my purpose. I am striving to work for the service of others because that is what I was put on this earth to do. Serve. Everyone who has breath on this earth has a purpose. We all have something specific we were put on this earth to do, and our story doesn't end until we accomplish it. But how are we supposed to know what we're supposed to do? From experience, your purpose tends to be something challenging uncomfortable, something you don't want to do, or something completely unexpected. This is where we all get caught up, because we expect our calling to be something we love to do, something expected. But if there's anything I've learned about my God is that He is the most unexpected Father I've ever known. He can change something into whatever He wants in a matter of just seconds if He wanted to. The reason our purpose gets ignored so much of the time is because it seems so wrong or unreal. It's almost like an are you kidding me moment. It's unbelievable. For example, when God told my parents they were meant to be pastors, they were thrown, but my mom was willing. However, my dad was confused and in disbelief. He was okay with how his life was made out and he had worked so hard for everything he had just to give it up. My dad wasn't willing and neither was I because it meant we would have to move far away and I had plans. And that's the issue. Many of us plan out our lives expecting the future to just result in everything we've planned out. But reality is that our lives rarely pan out how we planned. Therefore, when we get told what we have to do next as a part of our purpose, we laugh, shake our heads, and ignore our call. That's not what I had planned, we say. Or, I've never done something like that in my life. But that's the fun part. Our calling is a risk that is only capable of giving you positive results. Why? Because it's what we're meant to do. It's like receiving an actual phone call from an unknown number. How many of those calls do we ignore daily? A lot, right? But that's because we're usually pretty sure that it's a voice message or some telemarketer who chose the wrong job. However, every now and then we get an unknown call from someone we know. And when we pick up the phone, we realize that answering the call was the best thing we could have done. The same thing happens when God calls. We don't recognize the number, but it's important that we answer the call. Because if we don't, we'll miss out on something really amazing. That can only happen if we pick up the phone. Now here's the next thing. We know that every person has different bodies, right? Therefore, every person's body needs something different. No one's body is exactly the same. And so, sometimes I'll find myself asking my friends for advice on what I should use for my hair to make it softer or longer, or I'll ask them about skin products to rid myself of all disgusting acne. After every answer, I get something along the lines of, it really works, or it works for me. So I get excited thinking, yes, $20 well spent. <laughs> I go home, I try the product for a while, I finish it, nothing really changes. I buy it again just in case, and once again, I'm left with nothing. It's frustrating, time consuming, and a waste of money. I always end up thinking, why didn't it work this time? Here's my answer. It wasn't meant for me. Maybe the same thing has happened to you, or you can relate. But it's like, if someone else tried to put on my retainer to help their teeth, it wouldn't help because my retainer was specifically molded for, well, me. The same thing with our calling. The call you're getting is specifically for you. It doesn't matter how many people answer it. If it isn't you, nothing will happen and everything will be a waste. The person calling is on the line waiting for you. So every time someone else answers the phone, they'll ask them about you. You are being called to do something amazing in the world. And it doesn't have to be a big spot in the world. You might just be called to do what is considered insignificant in society. But trust me, if you were called to do it, then it is more significant than you can ever imagine. So answer the call, because no one else can answer it for you. The phone is ringing. Will you take the risk and answer your call?
for God's gifts and his call can never be withdrawn. Romans 11.29